We often need to arrange numbers to show how they compare in size with each other. This is called ordering. We can write the numbers so that they get larger or we can write the numbers so they get smaller. Here we have baskets containing apples. It is not easy to see how many there are in each basket. So let's tip them out and see what happens. The number line is here to help us. The first basket contains five apples. We have piled them up at the correct place on the number line. Now let's look at the second basket. This time there are eight apples. Now the third basket. This basket only contained two apples. Finally the fourth basket. The final basket had six apples in it. You can see that the height of the piles increases as we go along the number line. In other words they are going up. We call this ascending. We can now write the numbers down in ascending order by moving from left to right. The first number we come to along the number line is 2. The next number we come to is 5, then 6, and finally 8. We have compared the number of apples in each basket and arranged the numbers in ascending order. Let's look at these suitcases. If you were asked to compare them and put them in order, you might arrange them like this. They are in ascending order of size, but there is another way of arranging them. You could have arranged them like this. They are now in descending order of size. We have arranged them according to their size, but now let's look at what is inside them. A contains leaves, which are very light. B contains newspapers. C contains clothes, which are quite heavy. D contains gold bars, which are much heavier. Finally, E contains apples. If we look at the weights of each of the suitcases, we can see that A weighs 1 kilogram, B weighs 3 kilograms, C weighs 7 kilograms, D weighs 12 kilograms, and E weighs 5 kilograms. We can now put these suitcases in order of weight. Here's a number line to help us. We can arrange them now in ascending order of weight. You can see they are no longer in order of size. When you compare numbers and order them, you can use a number line to help you.